Dear President Biden, my name is Claire Jung, and I am here in the National Press Club with the Korean Church Coalition to speak on behalf of the voiceless North Koreans living inside political prison camps and the suffering North Korean citizens. According to Google, North Korea is one of the poorest countries in the world. 60% of the population lives below the poverty line. North Korean citizens struggle to survive, with the average income for a typical North Korean family being 5,000 to 10,000 won, or one to three US dollars per month. Many in gulags, including children, work 20 hours a day with no pay. However, the North Korean government receives over $1 billion a year for slave labor from foreign governments. When people offend Kim Jong-un in any way, they are thrown into political prison camps called gulags. If only one person offends him, their entire family is thrown into a gulag, and they stay there until down to three generations. In gulags, slave labor is enforced upon the people, including children down to five years old. Living conditions are harsh, unsanitary, and life-threatening. A significant number of inmates have died each year due to subjected torture and inhuman treatment. They are comparable to the horrifying historical concentration camps. North Koreans in gulags and out are being shipped off to the Gulf states, Russia, and their biggest supporter, China, to work as slaves. North Koreans affectors and orphans try to run and hide in China. However, if caught, they'll be forced back to North Korea to face harsh punishments, which can range from being thrown into a gulag to torture and even death. That is why we need the North Korean Human Rights Act to be signed. North Korea is thought to be the poorest country slash state in Asia. America is the seventh most prosperous country in the world. Can't we as Americans help North Koreans citizens? Can we harbor them into our home which is made of freedom and love while North Korea is made of fear and oppression? What would you want North Korea to do if the rules were reversed? That is why I will continue to stand with KCC and speak on behalf of our blood-related brothers and sisters, the North Koreans.